Gre- <clears throat> Excuse me. Greetings, YouTube. This is BJ Black, and welcome back to part six of my Let's Play of the trial version of Amayui Castle Meister. Last time we finished the trial version, so there isn't anything left in the way of story. Although, if we go to Avaro's room, Theo will again tell us that the trial is over and we can go back to the title screen. So what we can look at now are our new characters and the new map. First we've got Mikeu, a cat girl. She's a mage type character. An interesting she ability she has is the water diving. You can just say she's a swimmer. Makes more sense to me. But it allows her to cross water. In the map we played last time, there's a river that you can cross with her and have a little bit more exploration done. Next there's Eel. She is also a cat girl. An assassin type. She's actually quite fast and hits pretty hard. And unlike all the other characters, she has four movement per turn. And then there's Kisnir. If you recall the first video, she was only level 13 when we fought with her the first time. But she's level 18 now for some reason. Anyway, she's a big old damage dealer. Let's see. Ah, now I get to talk about CP. You see here, she has a certain number of... Perhaps it's control points or something. But she can only use... Equip so many of these skills based on how many of those she has left over. In addition, she only has so many slots. Most of them can use the first four, like Avaro and. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Avaro and Fia have three, have four slots. But for some reason, Mikeu's fourth slot is filled with this. Now, oh, this is a debuff, actually. Her magic attack and speed is reduced by a little. It says she's not used to actually using magic, although she's a maze type. This is similar to the debuff that Avaro had at the beginning of the game after contracting with Fia, where he lost half of his S half of his fatigue points. So presumably she's going to get rid of that later. And these two are normal looking. So that's our characters. Let's have a look at the map. Here it is. And it also has a new enemy, the Harpies. Yeah, all the rest of them are old, but the harp are, are new. And the gathering materials look pretty standard. Oh, interesting. If you close all the monster portals, you get a full meal. That's a useful... <laughs> hmm. There. That's very use interesting. And it, if you defeat all the enemies, you get a flying armband. And if you close all the portals, you get the full meal. This will be useful. So let's check it out. So we've got 40 turns to clean this place out. And we're going to have to make use of all of our characters, I think. Because it's the monsters here are actually pretty high level. This is level 10, whereas our two main characters are only level 7? 6. So you've got three characters that can fight on their own, and the other two who are... Yes. Well, they're dead weight, really. I've played this map before, so I know where to send Avaro. Ikimasu! 
And I mentioned Mikeu can cross water. This also is water that can't be crossed, can't be waded through. So Mikeo will be necessary to go up north here. In addition, let's field Iori just to show what she can do. I'm going to leave Kisnira inside just in case any monsters get close to the base and it needs defense. Because as usual, if the base goes down, we lose the battle immediately. I think it's safe to conclude that Eel Yeah, that was funny. She said, we found something we haven't found before. Praise me. Anyway, this is going to be useful. If you have one of these and a certain type of stick, you can make a bow. I believe the broken bow that gives us a useful. That we can disassemble for our light shards. All right, let's keep going with these two. Now Mikeu is another character without a melee attack, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Because she's fighting water spirits down here. And the water spirits have an advantage in that they can lay down a status effect that deals damage over time, and she can't. So, we can equip a fist type on pretty much any character, so we can just walk up and smack people. She's still pretty weak, though. This could be a while. From the computer's point of view, attacking physically is about the same as attacking magically. Although, like I said, they actually have an advantage when attacking magically. Oh, come on. Now the reason I sent Avaro over in this direction is there are a couple of secret doors in the area that he needs to open up. Oh no, a hidden enemy is ambushed her. This is about the only way that a ranged character can end up in melee on purpose. Hmm. Curious. All right, the regular water spirits have better defense than the crazed water spirits. That was the purple one I defeated huh? earlier. And here is a secret room. Oh. Fire shards. Do more damage. Ha. Huh. Now I can either keep fighting or heal her. Yeah, it just wouldn't be right to let her die. I 
I think once Fia's defeated that enemy over there, I'm going to unequip the red ring from her and switch it over to Mikayu. Especially if we have to do much more fighting. Uh-oh. What the hell, Avaro? He got hit with a status effect too. The paralysis that lowers his movement rate. Ah, oh, nuts to this. Well, the crazed water spirit has come down. Now, Eel won't be able to cross this, but I want to take care of this character anyway. I should have healed her. How careless. Stop being paralyzed. Alright. Let's unequip that ring so we can put it on our other character. Instead, no, it's not useful, but it, only Fia can equip that one, so we may as well equip it. Now, the Harp Heroes are ranged enemies as well, so... Sticking them up against Fia means that we'll have a bunch of ranged battles instead of one-sided. Well, back and forth ranged battles instead of just one-sided this and that battles. Okay. Now let's equip that ring and start dealing some damage now. Let's see, water spirit. Soul fragment. That sounds rare. Okay. Ouch! Okay, they're going to do six damage a pop, and I'm going to do four, unless I do this, in which case I do seven. I can actually kill one of them like this. Well, possibly both of them, really. Oh, and anti-air. I forgot about her anti-air ability. Oh, now I remember. Not very good. But luck is a fairly rare... a fairly rare stat to get on level up. So I guess we'll take it. Well, I wasn't planning on grinding for stats anyway. Anyway, I remembered where we get the light bows. Or rather, broken bows. Those harp heroes can drop them on rare occasions. So if you want light fragments, which you get from broken bows, you need to grind the harp heroes. Yeah, feels much better at spellcasting than anything else. 
I tested this, actually. I found out that the undo button actually does reset goddess cards, so sometimes they give different things. The first one recovered some life, spell points, and fatigue points, and this one gives us some gold. Like we need gold. Once I went into one and it gave me 30... Uh, what were they? 30 blue seeds. Which is a lot. Couple of traps. Poison trap. Another poison trap. Item. Nah, this is a small recovery potion. I got one of them. Hell, I'll go with it. Do 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 do. Yes, Ikuze. Yeah, let's continue. Now, since this is a cross water, water only Mikayu can enter it, and I don't believe there's much up for her to explore. But we'll see what she has. Kaishita. Oh well. That didn't go well. Mostly because Alvaro's a wimp. Hey, goodies. Alright, let's see. Another small healing potion. That's nice. Uh oh. I heard somebody coming for me, Kayu. Wow, wow, wow. New plan of our you are running away. And Fia will take care of this. A darkness shard. You know, the first time I played the route, I didn't even pay attention to the treasures. I told you, they heard it from Mikayu. Flame shard. Uh oh. You can see these guys have split a couple times. That guy's fresh, though. Now, if we look at Avaro, you can see some of his life is recovered. If you keep them out of battle, they'll recover at like 30% per turn or something. Alright, bashing damage. Alright, Elo. Elo, do your thing. Ah, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to see. Ah. But, but she didn't get the dot stuck on her, so odds are we can... No, wrong. Here. Odds are we will defeat the enemy now. That's blue liquid. It's the beginning of the game. This is the kind of stuff you can expect to find. Alright, things are going pretty well. We're about halfway through our turns.
a young leaf jewel. That's interesting. I wonder what it is. Oh, I should have mentioned you saw it was glowing gold. That means it was a rare drop. The odds are good it's one of these. No. This? Oh, here it is. Oh, you... Apparently, it's only good for sales. It sells really well for 3,000 gold. Giffle. Not that we have any use for the money in this game. Well, in the trial. Not more of you. You know what, she's hurting, so I'm gonna heal her anyway. Yeah, I knew there was a whirlpool putting these guys out in here. Alright, Eel. Time to earn your keep. Okay. Oh. Are you better yet? All right, Avaro. Yes. Back to work. No, use the attack that deals damage, please. Here we go. You may have noticed at the end of some of these battles, Eo will regain one point of life. She has a 50% chance when she defeats an enemy to gain 5% of her life back. Now, 5% would be one and a half, but it's rounded down to one. Oh, she needs healing again. Code Kaisha. Hey, a recovery feather. Oh. Definitely time for some recovery. Actually, what I should have used was a healing potion. The water-colored seeds here give you ten. And if you go to your shop and form them into potions, two of them will form a potion that gives you thirty. So it's more efficient to use the potions if you have enough life for it. So it's only more efficient when Mikayu is down to one hit point. But anyway, she should be okay from now on. Oh, you have no idea the pain you are in for. Wait a minute. Attention, YouTube. I fucked up. So, Case Needle is going to be my base defense. But I won't be able to finish the map without Fia. So. Well, unless I field another guy. And the harpy down there would just rip Will a new Avaro a new one again. I can't believe I called him Will. I should apologize. 
行動開始だ Now it may not seem to you that Kisnuda is doing much, but she is actually a juggernaut running over everything at this stage in the game. Okay, wait patiently. I probably should have done that earlier. Alright, heal. Smack this thing. Let's see. If I run up and hit it. Oh, I know why it's only I got one life. It was in a bad way after that battle with Fia, even though Fia died. Hey, that's a good level up. Not really important. Alright, return. Let's send Eola out again. Lightning shards. Hmm, somewhere around here. There it is. This is the water slash cold type shard. You know what? I should have deployed Mikayu a few turns back. Hmm. That should pretty well clean out this whole map. Well, an empty room. Now, let's consider. I know there's mining to be done somewhere in, on this map, but only Avaro can do it, and therefore only Avaro can see where it needs done. So let's get him to do the rounds as best he can. I bet there's one in this room. This isn't the game to just give us an empty room and not have something in it. So if we find something, I'll call it good. And if we don't, well, I'll still call it good. How about that? So, let's see what we got. A flight band and a full meal. Oh, this is new. This is... Literally smell and leaf, so probably some kind of herb. Now those two items. It would be here, the flight band, and the full meal. This is useful if you're defeating monsters for rare items because it will allow monsters to drop two items instead of one while you have it equipped. And this lets you fly over things, which will be useful for exploring, say in here, where there was a space we could get to with flying, but we weren't able to because we didn't have it. 
also with Mikeu around, or with the flight band, there is an inaccessible area in this first spring area, which we can access now. So now we've got a little collection of shards with which to upgrade our equipment. Now, I'm doing the wrong thing. This is where we upgrade. So this is Mikeu's book. We can upgrade it with the cold shard. Kisnu's sword, fire shard. Eol's coat, robe, with a lightning shard. Mikeu's robe, cold shard. And the green ring, which increases magic defense with cold shards. Now getting plus three defense would provide benefits similar to the plus three attack our red ring gives us. Now I suppose I should explain. This red ring, I call it, was red in Kamidori and in Sokoku no Arterial, but uh, clearly they don't have the icons like they did in those games. And this one is, I call it the green ring because of its appearance in prior games, but all you get is that icon now. Used to be a pretty good sized icon and you could tell all the items apart from each other. But you'd have a hard time now. Practically have to be able to read in order to determine what things are. But that's just how it goes sometimes. So, that will wrap up our trial, our let's play of the trial run of Amayui Castle Meister. If you wish to continue beating things up in the trial version, that's. You can go visit all the maps all over again. But I'm going to call it a game for now. The full version is going to be coming out on the 26th in a little over t three weeks. So you can look forward to hearing more about it then. <laughs>